clip art items and things you could use from the, the decorating CD to make it look like the inside of the stadium with people's faces and bleachers and pennants and flags and stuff, and scoreboard, uh, those kinds of things. So we, we kind of changed that a little bit for our use here by putting the gate out there. There are plans in the decorating guide for building this gate. You can build it as big or as small as you want. Um, we shrunk ours down just a little bit so that we'd be sure to fit in all the places that we're going since we're going to different places all week. Uh, the, the gate and the fencing is, uh, ours is made totally out of plastic pipe. Uh, I think the decorations guide indicated that the vertical <laughs> post, the big post, would be a larger diameter, but again, for our travel purposes, this worked a lot better for us. Um, the side pillars are made out of two-inch foam, as you can see. The back side is open, so you can kind of see how they're constructed. They're actually put together with T-pins, like you use for wigs on those styrofoam heads and stuff like that. Anybody uses that anymore, but when I was growing up, they did. Um, so they can be disassembled uh, and stored or, or moved around or whatever. Uh, the black tape, I'll tell you, is Gorilla Tape. It beats duct tape hands down. It holds incredibly well. It's very strong. It's very sticky, but it will come off. So I wouldn't stick it to a painted wall. But, but for that foam product, it works really, really well. The back, those two back pieces were just scrap pieces of foam that I had that helped keep the base spread apart and, and strong. Uh, the holes in the foam I cut with a uh, saber saw to just trace the pipe for the diameter and then cut it with a saber saw. I put the, little, the upright bars on the fence with uh, drywall screws. Pre-drilled the plastic and put a drywall screw in there. Uh, I think they had a different, a little different suggestion in the decorating thing, but again, because we're moving the stuff and carrying it and stuff, it's got to be a little different strength than if you're just getting that on the stage. <clears throat> Over here in the decorating guide, it does show uh, the changing room locker area. And actually, there in the decorating guide or on the CD is a JPEG that you can print off on uh, like an overhead projector cell mm -hmm. and use an overhead projector and project it on the styrofoam or cardboard or whatever you might be using. Uh, I did mine by my measurements and rulers, but that was just easier for me in this particular case. Now on theirs, they actually show uh, some drawing, all of that is just a flat surface and what they showed us in, in Fort Worth is just totally flat and the angles are drawn with the lines to give you the, the appearance of the depth. From cutting all the other styrofoam, we had two inch styrofoam pieces left, so we attached those to that to give you the depth. It works either way. Uh, T-pins are stuck in there holding the jerseys up. The drawing on there for the outlining the lockers and the handles is all done with a dollar forty-seven paint pen from Walmart. <coughs> they work fabulous. Uh, we used yellow to really show up on the on the blue there. Uh, the lockers uh, in the decorating guide. It's actually done again on a flat surface uh, on a sheet of foam. So they took one sheet of foam, painted the top piece orange, and then painted the lockers on there, and then, then the details. We had this bright idea, again, to give it some depth. Uh, we ordered these, the, each one of those sets is four cardboard boxes. We ordered them from Uline. They're 12 by 12 by 5 feet. Uh, so we took four boxes, I took some uh, liquid nails, squirted it between them, laid them down on the floor, put it between them and glued them together. And that made our lockers, they stand up well, um, they paint very well, and it, that gives you the added depth uh, for the 3D effect. And then again, all the drawing on there is just done with a paint pen, so pretty, pretty slick, pretty easy to do. The stage items up here, 
in the decorating guide or in the CD. They show these banners or wall art, and I think actually some of the, the large banner wall art has these same pictures. The, the baseball diamond, the soccer field, football, tennis, and track. Ours look a little different. When we were at BDSI, they had done something similar to this, although they took, uh, I think they had banners made. They were like 10 or 12 feet tall, and they hung them down from the stage because of where they were doing the, the, the uh, presentation. We decided we liked the look of that, so we took one of these pictures off of the CD, I put it into Microsoft Word, and then sized it to be eight inches by four inches on the, on the Microsoft Word document, and then put that on an overhead projector, projected it onto the styrofoam, and then we just went to town with masking tape and, and all kinds of stuff. Um, I discovered something, unfortunately, after about half of the football thing was done, to make those little stripes, we were painting those with We were painting those with brushes, which was very tedious to get straight lines and everything. And I had gone back up to Lowe's to get some more sponge rollers or something. And I ran across this thing, which was, I thought was really cool. It's really intended for touch-up. Uh, it's a little rubber bowl-like thing on the bottom. And on the top, one of these little rollers fits in there. And it's just like an ink roller. So when you put it in there, and you can roll a straight line, and it makes a perfect stripe. So you have to do a little yeah. touch up, but but it was a lot faster than trying to do brushes, brushes, and leaving brush strokes and stuff. So you're rolling a, a narrow line. So I think this was like six bucks. Well worth it. Well worth it. All the stripe, the white lines on the the baseball and the soccer field were done just with that roll. So it worked really well. Uh, one thing we learned, because as many years as we've been doing this, we typically, as you have seen in the past, we typically use a lot of cardboard rather than styrofoam just to give you a different medium to look at. This year we decided to do all the foam, but we had never done the half inch foam before. We've done the two inch foam on some other projects, but we've never done the half inch. So we laid these out, we started painting on them, Everything's great. We'd mask off some of these lines with masking tape, painted them, and we pulled the masking tape off. It was the paint was just coming off like, like it wasn't if it was dry, but it was just coming off in big chunks. What we realized was that on the half inch foam, there's actually a piece of plastic, clear plastic, that's stuck on that foam. It helps gives it some rigidity. Peel that off. <laughs> because it's like painting on a plastic bag or painting on one of these. It's not going to stick. All right? <clears throat> so we're being very careful with those five because we didn't really figure out what the problem was until we were way into the project and we weren't smart enough. Uh, so we're being very careful with these five sheets because I don't know how long the paint will last. But if you peel that off, then the foam is uh, textured enough that it will accept and hold the paint. So. Just peel that plastic off and we got it made. Um, the balls, we did the same thing as far as uh, graphics. These are on the CD. Uh, so we just took those, put them on an overhead projector, showed them up onto the styrofoam, and, and that way you can get them the, the size you want. Drew them on there, and then we painted them by hand or with rollers, <coughs> etc., to get the colors. Uh, there are other graphics that, well, I didn't put them on here. There's some other graphics on the CD that you can also make. There's a megaphone, there's a drum, there's some musical instruments, a baseball. There, there are a lot of other things you can do if you wanted to decorate the stage or a particular room or something like that. Uh, very easy to do. Christy's holding up back here the pattern that I made to do the baseball diamond. I wanted it to look the same on both sides, so I did half of the pattern and then folded the paper and cut it out. Um, that gave me something to lay on there and draw the, the 
diameter. Now, if you'll notice, that looks quite different from their view because their view is, is flatter and wider. Uh, and we did more of a vertical, so I, when I change that perspective in Microsoft Word, then it changes the, the shape. Depending on how you're going to do it, either way it works, but we wanted to see the whole thing on there. So, uh, so this, this pattern that she's holding up back here, if you're interested, if you want one, there's, there's plenty of brown, brown paper that you could trace onto the brown paper and, and take it home and cut it out or whatever. So help yourself with that anytime you want. Um, everything else you see is just random sports stuff from our grandkids. Uh, in our old racquetball days. You can see that really adds a lot of flair. It was real simple to do. I mean, uh, you know, you get out a couple of soccer balls and a batting helmet and set it up there. This little bench up here in the decorating guide, it shows a foam bench uh, that would be sitting like in a locker room or something. This is just a little bench we had. We thought, okay, well, why build one when I've got a bench and we can see what that looks like? Do a jersey over it, laid a couple of uh, barbells on it, dumbbells, and uh, the exercise ball, and it kind of makes it look like a like an exercise area. Over here, a little grill that we had, <clears throat> uh, a ball bag, and a couple of chairs, and so that kind of looks like tailgating. Okay, uh, so anything you can come up with like that adds to it, and it is so easy to do. Just to lay that stuff around and make sports. The games and stuff were kind of the same way. I was just going to say, when we left St. Louis yesterday, about an hour out, we said, oh my gosh, we forgot all the trophies. You know, the church has a thousand trophies for baseball things and that kind of thing. We were just going to cabbage onto a few. We forgot them, but then we just piled stuff on top of the locker. Did you tell them about where you got the lockers? Yeah, from your line. Uh -huh. From your line. And they weren't very expensive. I don't remember the cost. Ten out of fifty-five dollars. They were supposed so, to be about five dollars a box, but you had to buy ten. They only come in a package of ten, and we ordered them and got them like the next day. I mean, the shipping was included. I think. U line, U L I N E. They sell all kinds of pack packaging and shipping. Um, and the trophies that that would have been an added touch to it. Every church has softball trophies. <laughs> we have a softball team. We don't have trophies. <laughs> well, maybe a bar. I have a bear walk trophy. We have a bear walk. But that would just be an added, added thing that you could add. Any questions? It's really pretty simple this year. A lot of painting, and especially with the colors, it. it it takes a while because you can only paint one color at a time in some cases, especially like you see with the track where the green kind of goes over the track because that's supposed to be a shadow of the stadium across there. What kind of paint it's an artistic type thing. Kind of this was just interior house paint, latex. Okay. Okay. And on the decorating the CD, there is a, uh, I don't remember where it is, but there is a sheet that you have. PDF file you can print off and it gives you all of the colors that they use and that we use and it indicates where they came from Lowe's or Home Depot. So the color name. So rather than trying to find a bright orange orange that we liked or, or green or whatever, I just went up there and said this is 